to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a a circle pencil sleeve yeah so you could see the picture this is a very nice beautiful sleeve so i'm going to show you the simplest and easiest way to actually cut and sew this sleeve today in this tutorial so i'm going to be making use of uh, my left over let me say a uh, scrap fabric so that's what we'll use this for the pencil sleeve and then this we are going to use to cut out the flay that's the circle part so if you are new to my channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and then Facebook, all at Stylish Niger. Just search. you see Stylish Niger. Stylish Niger. Yeah, so okay, let's just get started. So I'm going to draw out a basic um, pencil sleeve. It is very simple and easy to draw a pencil sleeve. I'm going to just do that now with a free hand. So we're not going to be making use of any pattern for this class. So I have my fabric folded into two. The first thing you are going to do, so lucky enough for me, my fabric is almost even folded like a sleeve already. So I'm just going to measure the length. You come to the top part like this. And then you will measure the length and also before i continue those people that want to register for my online class so you can see my number scrolling through you can send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll send you the details for the classes so now let's just um, leave um just like a piece here just like about a little inch let's undo the length of the sleeve let's make it to be 22 inches so this is like 22 inches and then whatever i have here i'm going to use as my allowance so for this kind of sleeve i'm just going to measure i'll come to this part like this i want it um, to be a little bit high so i'm just going to go with 4.5 you can do um, five inches also the next thing i'm going to do from this point i'm just going to do this i'm just going to do this it's very simple just curve it in like this see just curve it in from the tip of this point just curve it into this point the next thing you're going to do you measure your round sleeve measurement so like i said this is a freehand way of doing this so now we measure our sleeve our round armhole so for this the round armhole that i'm going to be using i'm going to use about nine inches and then i'll add two inches to it for my allowance so this is 12 now that's nine inches plus two inches so from this point like this i'll just mark it like this and then the next thing i'm going to measure my bicep area that's the top of my my sleeve that's the part where they, they say the this part where you, your muscle like my child used to say my son you say i have muscle so this part i'm using eight inches so i'll measure it like this and then the next part is going to be your your elbow so my elbow part is about and 12 inches so I'll mark it like this so the next thing i'm going to apply my round sleeve measurement so this part that's called the bicep that's your muzzle area like my son said so i'm going to use 16 inches so this is six, eight point five sixteen into two you have eight this is eight inches and then i'm going to add just one inch for allowance so i'm just going to just okay let me put it in sorry so i'll just mark it like this and then the next thing i'm going to mark now is my elbow that's this part of my elbow since it is a pencil sleeve so i have 12 inches and then i'll add one inch as allowance also so this you slant it to meet this like this the next measurement is going to be this part which is like the wrist part so for that part i have 10 inches so i'll just mark it like this and then i'll add one inch also for the allowance so you see how simple it is to draw a pencil sleeve without a pattern so now i'm just going to use this i'll blend everything in two like this so you see very simple and easy for those of you that don't know how to draw to, to cut the pencil sleeve so we'll cut out right now and then we'll cut like this You see how simple it is? Yeah, very simple. So just take off. And then we're done with our pencil sleeve. The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to draw the circle sleeve. We're going to cut out the circle sleeve. So circle does a flay. So I'll fold my fabric and then show you how to do that. 
Okay, so you see I have a fabric cut out here. It is a square fabric So you see it is folded into four like this And then I'm going to tell you the measurement that I'm using so this you are going to determine how Actually big you want your circle to be so I have 14 inches. So I'm just using like 14 inches all around So you see it's 14 14 inches square. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point like this I'm going to mark the length of my my sleeve so I'm going to mark the 14 inches I'm going to mark it around like this so I'm using 14 inches see this is the tip that's the folded end this is the part this part is folded so this side is the two other folded parts so I'll just place it on this part like this and then I'll measure the 14 round I just want to create it out a circle because this is how you cut your flame if you are cutting freehand flame so for those of you that don't know so you see it came to the tip of this point like this so we'll cut out this part now Okay, so you see it is very simple and very easy. So the next thing now, I'm just going to put a notch here on the center. So I'll open up my sleeve. So the next uh, thing I'm going to go and do, I would go and, and join my sleeve on the side. So I'm going to go and uh, join it along this line with half of an inch. So I'll do that and come back and show you how to place it here and cut out. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm go so I'm, okay, I finished teaching it. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. So we're finished cutting out our circle. So if you want to do two circle, like the picture I showed you earlier, everything is going to be the same. The only thing that is going to be different is just the length. So that one, you can decide to reduce, just like the picture, you can decide to reduce the length of the flay. You know, this one was 14. You can make that one like 10, 11, yes. 11 would be a very good and obvious change. So you see the difference. So now what we're going to do now, I'll open up this point like this. So I've put a notch here on the center. You can actually do this in two ways. First, you can take the sleeve like this. This is the center part of our sleeve. This center part that's on the sleeve and then you place it like this. And then you mark, you measure it up to this point. What you're just going to do, you're going to leave like about quarter of an inch because after opening, at times most times when you open up it might become too big so you just leave about half of an inch and then you mark you're just going to mark this point like this and then you get the sleeve opening but most times i actually don't like using this method what i like using is my sleeve so after my dress my bodies what i'm going to do i will take I'll take my sleeve, that's the, the arm of my dress, that's the body, the dress I'm making. I'm just going to take it like this and then I'll take, I'll bring it to this point and then I'll place. So this is the shoulder, this is the shoulder part of, that's the top part of my sleeve. I'll place it like this. You see, it is very simple. If I'm going to fix this here, now it's just going to be so perfect. So I'll place it like this here and then I would mark, I'll just mark it out like this to cut out my circle but note for this sleeve if you notice you see what i have on the picture it is like i'm pleated most times it's, it is pleated for this circle sleeve if you want a very beautiful effect you can pleat it a little bit so if you want are going to pleat it all you are going to do you are just going to come in come in like this by about one inch you come in by one inch just to make the sleeve opening just to make it a little bit bigger and then from this point like this you are going to mark so once you mark it like this from this point at the end of the day you'll find out that it's going to be bigger so now for us to double check now you're just going to take this like this so you see when you place it you see what i i said this is the little inch that is going to be left out so you see it's going to fit in so at the end of the day it's going to fit in into this uh, points like this it's going to fit in perfectly well so we're going to cut it out now so i hope you understand what i did so you just place it i'm trying to explain it place it like this you see your armhole and then you cut it out if you want to pleat it you shift it by one inch or two inch depends on how full you want it to be just make it 
more bigger and then you cut out so this is the length so we're going to cut it like this now so i'm not going to be pleating this so i'll just cut it like this so you see it is very simple see this is the armpit side and then this is the top part so now for us to fix this sleep here's what we're going to do very simple and very easy i'm going to take this part like this and then i'll take this like this so i'll open it up for you to see this is the this shorter part is the armpit side and then i'm going to take this like this i'm going to take this is the center part of my sleeve i'm going to go and stitch it around so it's always good for you to stitch it around just take let me open it up again so you understand what i'm trying to say this part now this is the center this is towards the armpit side so i'm just going to take this like this now you take right side take right side uh, facing right side of this one this is the right side and now this is the right side just place them like this and then i'm going to stitch this around you are not turning it you are stitching it you're actually stitching it on the right side because at the end of the day you are going to when you fix it so i'll just go and stitch it around and then bring it back for you to see okay so at the end of the day you could see our circle um this is our circle pencil slip so you see how easy it is so just like i explained so you see mine I actually did not add any pleats to it so i used the first line so you see it's because it is a full flame you see how it is folded on its own so like i said if you want it to be two step just reduce the length of this first one for this we use 14 inches and then you see how it is so you just fix it around the round sleeve so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button so thank you so much for seeing you